Hi. Today I wanted to share some thoughts that I had on rereading Looking for Alaska by John Green. First of all, I would love it if you could keep the comments spoiler free for anyone who hasn't read this book yet. On the 10th of January, in honor of Alaska Young Day, I did my third reread of Looking for Alaska. The first time I read it was on the beach, which was a massive mistake as you might imagine, because this book requires some tissues. Looking for Alaska is about a boy called Miles Halter, also known as Pudge. He goes from living at home, not really having a lot of friends and spending his time reading about famous last words to go to a boarding school called Culver Creek where he meets new people, goes on adventures, and has to deal with lots of stuff. That seems like an accurate description. When I read this book for the first time, I was already aware of the Vlogbrothers videos. I'd been watching it for quite a while. I'd watched every single Vlogbrothers video that had been made. I knew the way that John Green talked. I knew all the issues that he cared about, things that he was obsessed with, all the stories from his past that he shared in videos. And because I kind of know too much about that, reading this book is not like reading a new book. It's like reading a book that one of your best friends wrote. When I read this book, I hear John's voice. I know exactly what it would sound like and I really really wish that I could read this book not knowing anything about it or not knowing anything about the person who wrote it. I kind of envy the people who just randomly pick this book up in a bookshop but I was surprised and happy to see that there were some scenes that I couldn't quite remember from the last time I read it. I still really enjoy the famous last words even though I know most of them by heart and I kind of love that I can't read about Strawberry Hill without thinking of Hank downing an entire bottle in 2007. I was also surprised to find that I disliked to the characters quite a bit more than I did last time. I don't think I had any really strong feelings about them the last time I read it, but this time I was so annoyed. Pudge was a bit of an ass for thinking that he just deserves someone's love without really doing anything. The same goes for Alaska. I was really annoyed with her character. But while reading it, I also really appreciated how Pudge would learn new things and slowly change. And that's what makes this book really interesting. The characters don't have to be likable for it to be a good book. Reading this also reminded me of how I I really like it that John kind of switched up the characters in The Fault in Our Stars. Because there's a bit of a pattern in his books where there's this boy who's kind of a bit of a loser who really likes this feisty girl. The thing that always really gets me about John Green's books are the last two pages. I cannot help but cry when I read the two last pages of every single one of his books. And the last two pages of Looking for Alaska are even more special to me because for a translation assignment last year I actually translated the last two pages so I had to look at every single word and think about why John picked those specifically. So in a way I feel like I have an even stronger connection with this book now. I'm really glad I got to reread it and think about everything that is connected to this book. It's kind of like reading Harry Potter where I can't just read it as Harry Potter. There's so many things attached to it that are connected to my life. I would just like to tell you that if you don't know anything about the Vlogbrothers and you haven't read this book yet, read it first and then go to youtube.com slash vlogbrothers and check out Hank and John Green. Also, if you haven't reread this in a couple of years, I urge you to pick it up and read it again. If you've read it, you can let me know in the comments what you thought about this book and I will see you guys later. Best wishes. Doei!